look at this fucking is. witness the worst mass murder in its history as 25 year old Alec Manassian was seen on CCTV speeding down the sidewalks in a rental van cutting down each and every soul in his deadly path 10 people lost their lives 16 others were severely maimed his vehicle eventually came to a halt at which point he was arrested at gunpoint he was then brought to a Toronto police station and subjected to interrogation nine hours later if they wouldn't just shoot him then again, if you just shot him on spot, and you can just have a seat in the corner right over there, okay? You okay. can't learn from it. Just have a seat right there, please. Thanks very much. Oh, it's in Canada. True, they wouldn't. They, yeah, true. They don't instantly shoot everyone in there. Right? Like, if that was America, they would have shot. Like, if that was America. Do you think if that was in Texas, if you just started running people down on the street, there'd be like five people on the street with guns that would just start fucking shooting at you? You think that would happen? They'd be like, Oh, hell no, not in my city! And they'd be like, Bo -bo. Hello? Hello. Hi, how are you? That happens, right? Good, how are you? Good, good. Did you drink water? Sure. Thanks so much. Like, wasn't there a thing? Didn't they, like, give to, like teachers guns or something in some fucking place in America to, like, stop school shooters? They gave them guns. They, like... Yeah, all right, we're going to equip every teacher with an AF-15. Uh, just have that under your, uh, you know, teaching desk. Uh, and it worked. I mean, yeah. I mean, How are you no feeling? Comment, no comment. I don't I'm think good. Did. You're feeling okay? My name's Rob Thomas. Nice how are to you? Hey, how are you? How are you? You doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, you probably have better days than this, I guess, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah. Well, I am a little shaken, to be honest. You're a little shaken? No. Like, my usual day, obviously. These eerily literal and matter-of-fact responses will be continuous throughout this interrogation. Ugh. You will not see a shred of remorse, nor a single attempt to mask the horror of what he had done just hours before. He is diagnosed with Asperger syndrome, yet comes across far more sinister than the average person with the condition. Oh, An unfortunate fuck. myth about the disorder is that diagnosed individuals have no emotions whatsoever, which is simply not the case. They can have a harder time identifying and fully expressing their emotions, yet most are able to do so to a certain degree. Being autistic doesn't mean you are at greater risk of evil deeds. If this character didn't have Asperger's, his moral compass would still be corrupt and would still be void of empathy for the victims, but more able to fake empathy for his own self-preservation. We got so many Asperger A's in chat. They're so easy to spot. They don't get when they're being cringe, and, it, and even you point it out to them, and then they still don't understand, and you have to directly spell it out. Like, no, dude, stop. Like, this is... You have to straight up address them individually, deliberately. The Asperger guys, they, they stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, when, I mean, I'm on the spectrum... Dude, but I don't have Asperger's. No, I'm pretty good at detecting when I'm making someone feel uncomfortable, right? I'm I'm very good at detecting it. I I think which and a person with Asperger's cannot tell when they're being like cringe, basically. Uh, that's that's which is so many. Like, I like it's like one in a hundred people on Twitch chat. Maybe like one in two hundred actually. I don't know. There's a a lot of them. A lot of them. Literally, coffee guy. Okay, dude. Notice I instantly corrected myself when I realized that the thing that I said made him feel uncomfortable and it was not the thing to say because I realized that actually I shouldn't have said he didn't have a job when he did have a job. Yeah, yeah, no, I can appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alec. Do you mind if I call you Alec? Yeah, sure. Is it, what do your friends normally call you? Alec. Alec. Yeah. Uh, Alec, my name's Rob Thomas. So I want you to call me Rob from here on in, okay? Okay. Is that okay? Bitch. Oh, okay. The reason for the detective's friendly disposition is self-explanatory. It will allow for the development of rapport, thus making the suspect more likely to open up to questioning. Yet one might wonder why further information is even needed at this point. After all, the evidence they already had on the suspect was conclusive. He was without question the culprit. Yet when a crime is so heinous and abnormal, an appeal for insanity is always a strong solicitation from a defense team. Yet, if the detective can establish a motive, it can be used to refute it. And the more detailed and clear-cut the motive, the stronger the state's case will be against him. And establishing uh, this motive will be the priority for the detective throughout this interrogation. You know what I've learned, bro? Just you know what I've learned from watching these videos so far? Is you just never, ever, like, if you're ever in trouble for anything, fucking never talk to these cunts. Because they're not, they're only trying to fuck you. They're only trying to fuck you. Like, 
that you just like you should never talk to them. It seems like there's literally like it doesn't matter how they phrase it. It does seem reasonable. Like I talked to them, explain my side of the story. Whatever. It's going to help. Nah, bro. Their uh, their only goal is to fuck your ass. Just a case of building a strong enough connection with a suspect to allow him to divulge uh, it. Hope they he needs to feel ass, safe though. and trust the man he is speaking with. Alec, uh, I want you to understand something. I'm a senior detective with the Toronto Police. Do you understand what that means? Uh, yes. Now, uh, here's what I want to do, uh, Alec. Um, I want to talk to you, okay? Um, we're going to spend a, 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 a good deal of time together, okay? Uh -huh. um, it's important that I talk to you, all right? Um, I'm going to ask you questions, okay? I'm going to ask you questions about uh, your background, your education. Wayne's twin? What? Um, your relationships with your family and friends, um, work, travel. And I'm going to ask you questions about what happened today, okay? Um, you don't have to answer those questions if you don't want to. If you do decide to answer my questions, would you do me the favor and, and just speak from the heart? Okay? And just be truthful. That's all I ask. Does that sound fair? Yes. Is that okay? Okay. Um, now, my understanding is, uh, earlier today, um, there was an incident, and you ultimately got arrested by a police officer. Do you remember that? I do remember getting arrested. Okay. Uh, do you remember uh, it was a uniformed police officer who arrested you? So in other words, he was a police officer in a, in a uniform? Yes, I remember he had a uniform. Yeah, okay. And I know there was a bit of an altercation. We'll get into that. But basically, I just want to kind of uh, you know, cover off a few points before we get started. My understanding is that uh, that incident, the time that you got arrested, you were on or near the area of Young Street earlier today. Is that right? Uh, and a police officer told you that you were going to be placed under arrest. And he placed you under arrest. Do you remember that? I remember that. Okay. Do you remember what he arrested you for? I believe I may have been arrested for something similar to murder. He carefully avoids defining his actions oh, as murder. Shit. And the reasoning behind this will be revealed later on. Oh, shit. Okay, I, uh, I believe it was originally you were arrested for attempted murder, and subsequent to that, uh, the officer placed you in handcuffs. Is that right? Do you think they think they're so smart? Do you think these fucking guys, the least psychos, think they're so smart they can actually just navigate these things themselves? Do you think that's what it is? They think that they're, they're, they're like, they're, and that's their own downfall. Is they're like, they have these large fucking egos where they're like, I'm actually way smarter than I am here. And I can do anything I can do to better. I'm going to navigate, you know, like some little, it seems to be a common thing. That other bitch we watched the thing on was the exact same. Is that right? Yes. Okay, research is right. Do you remember that? Yeah, I know. I remember that. Do you remember the officer reading you that? To be honest, um, the, I encountered uh, the very, uh, I encountered various police officers. I don't remember which one read me that. Okay, all right. Uh, but nevertheless, you were read, you were read, we call that a caution. You were read that caution. Yes, actually, now that you mentioned the word caution, I remember hearing the words of primary caution and secondary caution. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, that's, that's interesting because not a lot of people can rem remember those words. Okay, so that's what I read you is a, what we refer to as a primary caution. Just to establish that he's no. like, like he's not like, he, he could remember what happened and he's not like he was blacked out hallucinating or some shit like you know so that's just to make sure he okay in addition to that i just want to i just want to clarify one more thing um did you did you speak to the police and and tell them what happened today sorry i'm just uh, need a minute to think about that are you asking if i in any way confessed well, I'm, I'm asking if you, you uh, yes, if you confessed or if you uh, made a statement at all to any other police officer. What's happening in chat? I never made any significant statement about any events that occurred before I was arrested. Great, great. Okay, so uh, if you did have any conversation with any police officer. Hmm. Now, oh, fuck these. Okay, establishing that he hasn't been influenced off record. 
is to refute any evidence, uh, uh, any defense of motion. Police officer ah. prior to being brought into this room. All right. And that includes uh, making a statement or a confession. Okay. Uh, I want you to ignore what you've said. Okay. And uh, I don't want you to uh, refer back to that conversation. Okay. And what I mean by referring back, I don't want you to tell me uh, about any conversations you've had with any other police officers. Okay. okay. Uh, what I'd like to do is start fresh. We call this a clean slate. Okay. Oh my so god, dude, ban the fucking emoji they're using to create these things. Because I can't even see them and it makes no sense. I, what I see is just this. Okay, I can't even show it to you because it's been deleted. But I just see a bunch of lines. I don't see anything, okay? And then you guys are sitting there doing something and I don't feel included. I feel excluded and I don't appreciate it. Okay, guys? Possibly TOS. So they're posting literal boobs. Yeah, they're just fucking just ban just ban, ban these little bitches. And like okay, because it's so distracting. I'm like trying to like uh, I look at chat and you guys are all boobering. It makes no sense. No content. Okay. So from here on in, okay, I want this to be a fresh start. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. The investigator goes through each sequence of events from the suspect's arrest to his arrival at the police station, as well as each of the charges laid against him. This is essentially making sure the suspect is fit to be interrogated, and further establishing that he understands his level mm. of jeopardy. All of these steps are emphasized when the suspect has any type of developmental disorder or psychiatric impairment. The investigator needs to remove any slight possibility that a defense team could use to argue unjust or improper yeah. practice. My understanding is you were taken to the cell area? Yes. Okay, and you were uh, placed in a cell. And uh, uh, my understanding is that cell is a bathroom. It has a toilet. Yes. It has a toilet and a sink. Yes. And, uh, and then following that, now there were a couple of other events that are important. Uh, one was, um, my understanding is that you were given an opportunity to speak to a lawyer. Yes. Okay. And you, uh, you indicated to the officers that you didn't have a lawyer. Correct. And that you didn't know who to call. Correct. And so the officers offered you an opportunity to speak to duty counsel, which is that free legal service that I talked about. Correct. Okay. And my understanding is you spoke to, to duty counsel. Correct. Okay. Um, and you did that in private, is that right? Correct. In other words, there wasn't anybody listening to your conversation? Correct. Okay. Now, I don't want you to tell me what the lawyer said, but did you understand what the lawyer was telling you? Yes. Okay. Are you satisfied with the information that he told you? Yes. Okay. So my understanding is, um, as the night progressed, and as we were learning more information, uh, it, it came to our attention that uh, um, seven people have, have, have died. Sorry, nine no. people have died. I apologize. Uh, um, as a result of an incident that occurred on Young Street. And uh, so subsequent to that, uh, my understanding is the officers came down and they spoke to you to advise you that, you would, you, that the charges would be upgraded to nine counts of first degree murder. Do you understand I want to know why. Is? It's a pre premediated murder and completely intentional and considered to be what's premeditated in cold blood. Well, yeah, yeah that's a fairly, uh, a fairly. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, what's what's pre it's it's premeditated, right? He doesn't mean premediated. He just started at misread, I guess. What is premediated? Or is that is that a thing? Is premediated a thing? But the mediate was uh, subtitles on, please. But then you can't see the text that comes up. Both work. Oh. Precise way of uh, describing it. What we we call it premeditated. It means premeditated. You understand what premeditated okay. means? Yes, it means. It would mean that someone planned for that murder in advance. Right, planning and deliberation. In other words, you, you, um, if somebody committed first degree murder, they would have uh, took the time out to think about what they were gonna do. Uh, sit down and uh, uh, deliberate over the, the plan. So in other words, they were gonna sit down and go over the details of the plan, figure out what it is they were gonna do, and how they're gonna execute the plan, and so on and so forth, to commit a murder. Plan and deliberate, that's what it means. So there's a lot of thought and energy that goes like, into planning to kill somebody. That's that's what first degree murder is. Why would you run your car into a bunch of people, chat? Like, I'm trying to think of a situation where I would do it. Like, what? Okay, let me think, yeah. Um, running my car into a bunch of terrorists, maybe? Maybe running my car into, like, uh, ooh. 
Um, a bunch of... I mean, if you just really hated a woman or something? No, I'm just, okay, no, but no. You would do it to save lives, right? If you, if you thought that running your car into a bunch of people would save lives somehow, then you could, you could justify doing it, right? Right, if you if you thought you could if by running like ten people over you could save a hundred people for some reason, right? But that you know I'm trying to think how you could do it. I mean, uh, how could you justify? Can you think of any other situations? Or just if there are a bunch of weebs, you think you think you would just what you would if you just saw a bunch of weebs on the on the side the sidewalk you would just run them over? Okay. Okay. Um, you're going to be charged with ten counts of first degree murder. Okay, uh, as well as 15 counts of attempted murder. Um, I've read you your rights to counsel, your caution, secondary caution, and so forth. Uh, do you wish to speak to a lawyer? The choice is yours. Yes, I will speak to a lawyer. You want to speak to a lawyer? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, did you have a lawyer, or did you want to speak to duty counsel? I'd like to speak to duty counsel, please. Okay, no problem. So can you just hold on? Just Can you sit tight for one second? I'm just going to just exit the room here for one minute. Yeah. So, before we go any further, just tell me what happened from the So he's poor, basically. He can't afford a lawyer, so he's poor. Okay. We left this room until the time we came back. What took place? He's got Asperger's. That's My he... lawyer told me not to answer. I think it's a twitch chatter. Due process was given to the suspect upon the request of legal counsel, and as expected, he was advised to remain silent. Yet this doesn't mean authorities are legally obligated to stop the questioning process once the suspect is briefed. Although the suspect has been advised to remain Excuse. silent, Detective Thomas will have lost no confidence with regard to the primary objective. Uh, I understand that, okay, and, and I'm glad you told me that. Um, you know why? Because that, that tells me you understand what your rights are. Okay. Um, but I need, you need to understand something. Okay. Um, we, the police, have a, have a job to do. Okay. And, and that job includes uh, collecting uh, evidence, speaking to people, um, we. trying to understand and uncover what's happened, what took place, uh, and asking questions. And uh, we're obligated to, to, to sit down and, and speak to people like yourself who are in, your, in this position and ask you questions, all right? Uh, your lawyer's right. You don't have to answer any questions, okay? But you need to understand something, Ellen, okay? I think um, convince him. I still have to ask you questions, okay? Uh, and I'm going to ask you questions, all right? Uh, and I'm going to talk, okay? And it's not, I'm not, I'm not doing that to, to, to make you the interview feel intimidated just or to, to make you scared or to say things that you don't want to hear, okay? But the bottom line is um, we have a very difficult job to do, okay? And, and this is a very, very important matter that we're, we're dealing with here today, all right? So uh, I'm going to ask you questions. Uh, if you don't want to answer them, you can tell me you don't want to answer them. Uh, or you don't have to say anything at all. I, I totally understand that. As long as we can still maintain that respect that we talked about at the beginning. Is that cool? Yes. Is that cool? You're not going to offend me, okay? Um, uh, you're, you're not going to make me upset or, or, or insult me if you say, Rob, I don't want to answer that question, okay? The detective recounts the events that occurred from the time they last left the room to the time they returned. If I'm not mistaken, the officers uh, fed you, is that right? Yes. Uh, Why is he answering? Yes. What did they feed you? He then what? posed. He didn't even need to do anything. Wait, he didn't even need to do anything. The guy said this lawyer told me not to tell you anything, but then he's answering questions again. He got he got debated, bro. He got fucking he got debated. Was the first open-ended question, a question that cannot be answered with a yes or no response. Sandwich and juice. A sandwich and a juice, okay. Uh, this may seem inconsequential, yet it's a fairly significant breakthrough. The uh, suspect has already unintentionally gone against his lawyer's advice, which would have been to only respond with yes, no, or I don't wish to answer, and only the question is not related to the crime. If he is capable of making a slip up this early on, it lets the detective know he will be likely to make a more serious error later oh, on when he encounters more incriminating shit. questions. The strategy will now focus on the development of rapport, while slowly and subtly 
subtly shifting the dialogue from trivial matters to the actual circumstances related to the crime. What was that? Do you think you could manipulate Twitch chat on a mass scale if you knew what to say? Do you think one of these interrogators could manipulate Twitch chat, like playing 4D chess? Fucking, he, you could. I mean, you, of course you can. I see Twitch content creators do it all the time. Of course you can manipulate chat. What am I saying? That's crazy. How, like, oh, damn, that's crazy. I didn't have uh, access to the time at the, the time I was uh, fed. Okay. Uh, are you hungry? No. Okay, did you have anything else to eat today? Oh, another one. I ate before uh, I was arrested. Okay, and, and, and what uh, what time was that? I don't recall. Okay, do you remember what you ate? I don't recall. Okay. Oh, he's, he's conditioning him to answer questions that aren't yes and no, dude. Uh, if, if you're hungry at all, at any point in time, you just let me know. Oh. Okay. If you need to borrow the washroom, you just let me know. Okay. I'm going to leave that up to you to tell me. Okay, because I'm not going to know if you're hungry or not. I'm not going to know if you need to go to the washroom. So I'm going to rely on you to tell me that. Is that cool? Yes. All right. Um, how much sleep did you have last night? About eight hours. About eight hours. And how, how did you sleep? I slept well. You slept well, and when, where, where did you sleep? Fuck, man. Was it your home? I uh, I, I do not wish to answer that. Okay, all right. Uh, nevertheless, oh. you slept well. Okay. Um, I want to ask you something, Alec, and this is important. Uh, are you on any kind of medication right now? No. Okay. So, do you take any? Uh, what I mean by medication? Do you take anything? Anything prescribed for any physical injuries or ailments of any type? I don't wish to answer that. Okay. Uh, what about medication for psychological issues? I don't wish to answer that. Okay. Alec, can I ask you this? Um, because it's important. And, and I'm saying this because um, I think I know the answer. But uh, am I wrong to understand that uh, in high school you were uh, identified as someone with special needs? Oh shit! I oh. Have to answer that. Okay. Oh. How is uh, how are things at home? Do you call him retarded? Good. Uh, with you and your family? You, you, yes. Are you close to your mom and dad? Yes. Yeah. And what about your relationship with your brother? Is that a strat to like trigger him to get him to talk? Your special needs. I'm I'm gifted. It's good. Yeah. Um, I understand you were born in Canada. Yes. Yeah, and your uh, your parents immigrated to Canada um, some time ago, um, and they're originally from Iraq. Is that right? I do not wish to uh, confirm or deny that. Okay. All right. Okay. I just say that because um, I've spoken to your dad, and uh, um, he's worried about you. I'll tell you that. Okay. The investigator evokes the sentimental thought of the suspect's father being worried about him. It's designed to conjure an emotional feeling in his mind. Um, and I ask you these questions, and, I, and I'm not trying to intimidate, I'm not trying to scare you, okay? The emotional conception of his father's concern is then interlinked with the immediate questioning process taking place. There is no given explanation of any resemblance or connection between the two elements, yet the intimate thought of his father has now been subjectively merged with the detective. It's what a subliminal and also very subtle attempt to build trust. A simple way of putting it would be that the investigator is trying to develop a father figure connection with a suspect and then use the assurance of a father figure to extract information. You also start to chat how's your dad chat how's your dad uh, i was talking to him he was worried about you yeah well i was fucking his ass bitch yeah bitch. Well, you see the detective used terminology and parlance associated with parenthood um I see. The that's why i ask these questions is because it's important that i get to know you better all right um we just met for the very first time and uh, you don't know me Am I right? Correct. Right. And uh, uh, I, uh, I've That's never met so you before. Weird. But I, know, I do know a great, a great deal about you. And um, it's important I get to know you better. And the reason why I say that is because um, this is an important issue that, that, that brings you here today. Okay? It's very serious. And um, I think I would be neglectful 
if I didn't at least try and understand who you are. That's all I'm trying to do. This is an art, isn't it? You understand? This is an yes. art. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Getting talking to people and getting to divulge information they don't want to divulge is an actual. It's like he's he's like doing a dance right now, right? Uh, it's crazy. Like the amount of like practice and uh, the amount of training, the amount of like. I mean, this is like. He, I mean, I don't know if he's even trying. I I don't know how how much preparation he did for this. Like, I mean, dude, trying to like trying to get someone to talk to you and answer questions that they don't want to answer and being told like, yeah, do not answer these questions. It's like that is that is uh, amazing to, to watch. Do you feel intimidated right now? Are you scared or anything like that? No. Okay. Uh, will you let me know if if if, you, if that ever happens? I will let you know. Okay. All right. My understanding Makes is. Makes you worried uh, that I'm getting manipulated by someone. A, a special needs class in, in high school. Okay. In my in my conversation with you, in my experience with uh, <laughs> with with people with special needs, because uh, I've been doing this a long time, and I have actually family members who. Uh, you know, have uh, you know, special needs. <laughs> Yo, he's, every time he says that, I can just feel this guy getting enraged, dude. Like, it's like when me, when people say my, uh, it's like when people say my dyslexia is a disability, dude, I mold. And, it, and like, it's to be like saying his, his Asperger's special needs. Like, he's like, he's got a disability. Like you just, he's, I swear to God, he's clearly trying to enrage him. Because of a variety of different reasons. I can recognize uh, uh, people who um, Look, you again. You know, who uh, who have special needs. Oh my God! Time. Again, so the I, fifth time. The reason I'm saying that is because I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Um, I don't want to be saying something that is going to confuse you or make you feel uncomfortable uh, or make you feel scared. Does that make Call sense? special needs again. Yes. Okay. Are you are you in any kind of relationship right now with um, with a, with a, an intimate partner? I mean, do you have a girlfriend or a? I do not wish to answer that. No. Okay. All right. Um, what about friends? Do you have a, a a group of friends that you typically hang around with? I do not wish to answer that. No, edge dude. Am I to understand that you've you've had some military experience in the past? Yes. Yeah, man. Okay. Was it in, the, in mm. Canada? I'm, I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my dad was in the military. Did you uh, have a particular skill that you wanted to develop, dad. or was it just? I was interested in uh, learning how to uh, use uh, weapons. Beautiful. Spe okay. Specifically, uh, large guns. I never, unfortunately, I never oh, made God. it far enough in my basic training to uh, use guns. Uh, so I don't know what type of guns the. Uh, uh, military uses. Oh. That's fucking scary, bro. This is the kind of guy that you would not want, like, I would not feel safe with that guy. Like, there was, like, a dude on my basic where he was, like, autistic pretty hard. And, like, e even the corporals were kind of, like, more, I guess, giving that guy a fucking gun. Because, like, he was talking about how he, like, wanted to use guns and shoot guns and stuff. It's, like, it just sounds, that sounds so fucking creepy, dude. He didn't make it. Yeah, I get. I feel like kicked him off because he would have started talking about how he wants to use large guns and shoot people or something. I, I, he's probably what he said. What the fuck? Do you find yourself playing? Do you play a lot of a lot of video games? Guy like you, twenty five years old, imagine you're. Yeah, I actually, I actually like playing video games, especially the uh, violent ones. The violent ones, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just like to. Uh, oh come put on! My urges that's, into the that's, TV screen. That's why they're there, right? Oh my god, this is such bad PR for video games, dude. A mass murderer is talking about how he loves video games and specifically violent ones. Oh my god, bro! What the fuck? And he's making it sound like it's. it's to be fair, he's saying it let his urges out. Okay. So as far as being a gamer, how would you classify yourself? Are you uh, like a I would big classify gamer? myself as a hardcore gamer. Hardcore gamer. <laughs> so in terms of hours spent during the day playing video I'd games. I'd be you how shit, dude. Game? I'd be you shit at I would see an average of uh, five hours per day. That is not a hardcore gamer! That's fucking pathetic! Five hours a day? Jesus Christ, mate. I was averaging like 10 hours a day while I was going to school, bro. My understanding is you're living at home. You don't live on your own. Am I right? Jesus. I don't wish to answer that. Okay. Uh, but you have a good relationship with your mom and dad. Yes. Yeah. And has your relationship always been I good quote with your gamer. Yes. Okay. And have they... Been... Probably just plays GTA. 
I mean, I can see it now. He just play. He probably just plays GTA and just drives around on his console, running people over in his in his car. Like that's probably what he does. Supported and loving throughout your life. Yes. And um, were there any difficulties in your life growing up with your mom and dad? No. No. Uh, what about with school? Were there difficulties with uh, with with school growing up? No. No. Uh, and so when I talk about well, that, I'm talking about like the school curriculum. You know the. You know, going to school, learning, and 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 uh, you know, doing assignments again. and things like that. Were there any Keep issues? Keep doing it. No. Okay. What about the students? Uh, no, I never had any issues. Never had any issue with any really? students. Really? No. Like no. Uh, really? Uh, and, I, and I say this uh, because you know sometimes these things are important. Uh, were you? Um, how were you treated by the other students? I was treated well. You treated well. Okay. Um, uh, this dude in my school would have got fucking, I mean, fucking omega bullied. Like, omega bullied. You get bad. It's bad here in New Zealand. To be honest, once you get to like the last two years of school, it was way better because all the guys who didn't want to be at school had left. All the, like, the fucking low IQ people who got beat by their dad, like bully Annie's. They uh they they had left, but like you know, up until the last three years of school, holy shit, this guy would have got fucking giga bullied. Did you have any difficulties with any particular group of students? No, no. Uh, what about difficulties with uh, uh, girls in particular? No, 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 no difficulties with girls at all. No, no, not at all. The fuck? How do you feel about the chat? Uh, girls in general i i'm attracted to them oh you are okay okay so you're <laughs> heterosexual yes would it be fair to say that okay that's that's important um so have you weird. ever had a relationship with a with a, a female i don't wish to answer that okay all right ah oh, shit he's um, a virgin oh no in terms of females i mean females and women because you're 25 you're a young man right we'll call them women um in terms of your Feelings towards women in general. Uh, how would you describe that? I would say that sometimes I am a bit upset that they choose to uh, date uh, obnoxious men instead of uh, uh, oh. gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, he's one of these nice guys. He's one of these nice guy incel Andes. Oh my god. And then what he's a nice gentleman. The the mass murderer is the nice gentleman. And he's and, and all the other guys there are all the other dudes who are fucking the chicks are obnoxious, disgusting, toxic chat. Oh yeah, I see here it goes. So my understanding is um you you, you have some problems with women who date obnoxious men. Right? Yes. And these guys I'm thinking you're you're talking about the fellows who are loud, uh, uh arrogant, um uh, generally, uh, have confidence, aren't fucking giga incels, just normal, reasonable dudes. Uh, outgoing and popular with girls. Yeah. Yes. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Um, and you have a problem with the women that date these fellas? Yes. Why is it that you have a problem with, oh with the women? Oh my god. Because I feel that uh, it's illogical to be a uh, dating such men when they could be dating a gentleman instead. Right, right, right. That makes sense. I mean, uh, and I've seen that because I've grown up. And I'll tell you one of the issues that I had as a kid growing up, because I was, uh, this is going to say, you might not believe me, but believe, I, I, was, I wasn't a very big kid. Oh, fuck. I just hit stuff. Uh, relatability, building rapport. Okay. Growing up, I was actually very, very small. Uh, and it took me a long time to, 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 to grow. And uh, so as a result, uh, the I, you know I, I was kind of ostracized. You know what I mean by ostracized? I was kind of cast aside. Cast aside, yeah, yeah. And uh, or uh, I left out. Like I wouldn't get picked for teams, you know, or anything oh, like God. that. Oh God! You know, I was kind of the last guy. Say you were special needs you as well. Those, uh, the full those, relatability. Uh, you know those television shows where you know all the kids are lined up and they're getting picked for you know the teams and there's always. Well, one guy left out at the end. Yeah. I beat this reporter was a massive Chad, and he was. A, I beat this. I mean, this fucking interrogator was actually a massive Chad. He had the silver tongue, and he was actually fucking a bunch of chicks, and he's just completely full of shit. Like, I, I, straight facts.
I mean, let's be honest here. This guy probably slays. I mean, he's this good with woods. This guy probably absolutely slays. That was me. I was, I was, I was that guy. Okay, and, dude. Uh, and, and I never, I was never uh, very popular with uh, women, girls in, in, in school. And, uh, and that kind of actually went on through uh, the early part of my, my, my adulthood uh, until I started, you know, getting taller and uh, mature. Right, but uh, I understand exactly what you meant because I was, as a kid growing up, I was, um, you know, I mean, I was like any other kid, any other young man, right? You would look at uh, uh, attractive girls, and I knew I was probably just as smart, if not smarter, than some of the clowns they were dating. But <laughs> look at this totally, and this is like incel porn right now. This is like incel, some <laughs> of the clowns, dude. Oh shit! I'm <laughs> loving this shit. You, you, are you relating to this guy right now, Chad? Are you guys relating the fuck out of this guy right now, like oh, fucking clowns? Because for whatever reason, I didn't have what it took. They wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't date me because I think because I was short. They wouldn't date me. They'd end up dating, you know, the tall jocks and the other, you know, the good-looking fellows. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. Then you kind of resent these girls, right? Yeah. Because you know, oh, it's kind fuck of a superficial. Yeah way of uh, deciding you know, who it is because you're Because height is an unfair, you can't control your height. This is the oh first Oh my time god, is he, is he mass murder because he was short? Is this all going back to because he's, he's a reason he's a mass murderer is because he's short? Oh my god, bro. You know, who it is because you're height be. is an unfair, you can't control your height. This Drew. is the first time Drew. the suspect added his own input to a topic without being asked a question first. It's a sign that he is beginning to develop trust, and the investigator now maintains this development by focusing on the detail that made him open up. Right, exactly. Right, 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 right. What other things can't you control? I can't control uh, your looks either. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Although you're not a bad looking guy. I mean, you can. You can. What does that even mean? You can control your looks. Someone who's healthy versus unhealthy, someone being like muscular versus being fat, someone like who's brushing their teeth every day, who's not, you can fucking dye your hair, you can have different hairstyles, you can wear different clothes. You can make, a, have you seen these shows where they make people look like 20 years younger or whatever, bro? Your face. Yeah, I mean, dude, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, to an extent, you can control the way you look, and I think it's a large, large extent. Plastic surgery, no, no, plastic surgery doesn't really count. I mean, I, I don't really count plastic surgery as a thing, but like, uh, you know, it's one of these things where you can 100% just eat healthy and just work out, bro. Like, let's be real here, and you're going to be like immediately a lot more attractive. Like keto, eating keto. Thank you. No, you are. You're a good-looking guy. You, you keep yourself a good point. Although you're not a bad-looking guy. Thank you. No, you are. You're a good-looking guy. You, you keep yourself well. And you're good. You're fit. You know, you're tall. Yeah. Um, what other things can you control? I'm unaware. I'm, I'm not aware of anything else you can't control. Uh, what about, um, like, phys physical disabilities, right? Obviously, if you were blind or, you know... Unfortunately, you, you can't control that. Yeah, you can't control that. That's what I mean. So these are things you can't control or... Um, you know, other disabilities, you know, uh, if you're mentally handicapped or if you, uh, you, you know, you're, you have an amputee or, uh, What, the, what are you, you spamming know, a clip? You're spamming a clip of chat. Oh my God, you're distracting me super hard. Okay, I'm gonna watch this clip and then you can shut the fuck up, okay? Okay? Uh, uh since, oh, dude, I'm pausing so much, but I, I want to talk to chat. Since Quinn is playing now, are you gonna team up with him still, maybe? I am super keen for him and me to play together, but I don't know if he's keen. And I'm too shy to ask, apparently. Wait, since, oh, oh, shit. Jump. Okay, shit. That's like the unless emoji, right? Yeah. Um, we need to have a just we'll have a discussion about it. We can have a discussion about it at some point. Um, uh, you know, we can have a discussion about it. We can suss it out. All right, but that we'll sort it out later. Sort it out later. Okay. There's, there's other other things, and I and I and so so does that would would you include that in those those issues that you can't control? Yes. And so uh, so how long have you had this um, this feeling towards? Uh, women who are attracted to, you know, this particular type of guy. 
Ever since I uh, started uh, college. Ever since you started college. Okay. Uh. And, and did it, did, was it was it something that occurred as a result of a single incident? Like, did, did was there one particular moment in your life where it sort of struck home? This was a problem, or was it just a a broad outline of a motive has essentially been identified for the crime, and the detective is now trying to zero in on particulars. The more detail he can get from the suspect about his established motive, the more incriminating it will be in a court of law. On Halloween of 2013, I was attending a house party, mm -hmm. and I uh, walked in and attempted to uh, socialize with some uh, girls. Uh, however, they all uh, laughed at me and... Uh, held the arms of the uh, big guys instead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Fuck me, dude! Holy shit! What do you do as a woman? Right, I mean they're like animals. We're animals. We're the, the we're the we got the alpha male animals going around like, oh look how big and strong I am. Look at how confident I am. I'm gonna be a dick, dude. I'm just gonna show you how fucking alpha I am. You know whatever. And the chicks like get attracted to that, right? Because in the central hierarchy, they're like, oh my god, look how fucking how much respect this guy has and how much popularity he has. And look, he's physically attractive. Like it's a chat, right? And they're like, oh, I would like this guy. And then there's some dude who comes in. He's like, hello, I would like to socialize with you. And he's like, nobody likes him, and his and the status in the social hierarchy is so low, and then you automatically like, this is cringe, oh my god, look at him, fuck, dude. They start laughing at him awkwardly, then he goes and fucking kills them all. Um, what do you do? Right? It's the game of life, man. It's the game of life. I mean, it's like, it's like, how women are fucked, right? You're just doing the woman thing, and the chads are just doing the chad male thing, and then these guys here, like, they need to be self-aware of that, right? And realize... It's, it's yeah, I don't know. And he has just to be self-aware, cause it, it's 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 like uh ah, fuck. It's so obvious. It's so obvious how how awkward this would be and how weird that would be. And you can see that why the woman would laugh in an awkward manner and why they would why this would happen. Imagine this guy coming to the house party and trying to social quote unquote socialize with the woman, and uh, how can he not realize why? It's happening. Because there's plenty of socially awkward woman he could go for. He's going for the Stacys. Right? And he needs to find some other autist woman to go with. And they can both be autists together. That's like, that's what he needs to do. He needs, he needs like, that's what it is. Like, uh, you know? <laughs> you know, there's like the, the Chads and then the Stacys, right? And then there's like the other people who are like him, but are also women, right? Because there's other chicks with Asperger's, and they, but to be fair, they even the woman with Asperger's and autism and shit, they still ha like have a load of dudes coming after them because it doesn't matter. Like a guy finds like, oh yeah, she's fit, she's physically attractive, and then she's just like, gonna yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, girls are the selectors, right? They they sit there and don't have to do anything, and they just sit there and then they select, right? between the guys that come, right? They are the, they are the, they are the person who makes the choice, you know, which is why it's like, which is why, I, like, people say I'm sexist when I say this, but, like, it's impressive if a dude can have sex with a lot of chicks, but it's not very impressive if a chick can go and have sex with a lot of dudes. Uh, and that's because the guy has to convince a woman to have sex with them, whereas a girl's, like, you don't need to convince anyone. You can go into any bar, and you can literally have some fucking weird dude fucking, you know, you, you can be, it's like, it's like, it's, not, and that's because you are the one who is just, they're the person who's uh, selling, and the, buy the guy's the guy who has to buy it. I'm not an incel. This is just the, this is why it's, like, impressive for a guy, you know. Uh, so, yeah, autist guys have it harder than autist girls, but he needs to understand, like, dude, these people are not, this, this, this party, this house party, that ain't for me. I need to not, you know, and clearly they're going to ostracize me, and clearly they're going to laugh at me, and you need to find some other fucking weird autist chick to go with, you know, and post twin. How about you suck my dick gimmick? Man, pussy, fuck off. All right. Really? Held girls? I don't know. Just, it's just like, just seeing, because just looking at the, I don't know. 
it's just like you look at because at the end of the day, chat, like we are just animals, and and this is just like a fucking really awkward animal. And, uh, uh, however, they all uh, laughed at me and, and uh, held the arms of the uh, big guys instead. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Well, that's kind of rude. <laughs> yeah. And how did that make you feel? I felt uh, <laughs> very angry. Anger uh, and resentment. The underlying causes for oh, revenge. Shit. The reason the legally insane are given leniency is because they are deemed incapable of these complex and multi-layered emotions, thus incapable of acting with evil intent. Their criminal infractions will have no reason or purpose. Yet the suspect has now admitted to quenching the hostility he felt from rejection by inflicting pain and suffering on others. That they would, because I considered myself a supreme gentleman, I was angry that, that they would um, give their love and affection to obnoxious boots. Oh my god, dude. A supreme gentleman. Oh, he's mental as well. He's completely detached from reality and just full fucking mental. And so it was that particular moment, uh, you know, it was sort of the defining moment that made you think that, you know, this is this is wrong and, you know, these people are, yes. know, are unfairly treating you in, in the way that they were. Yes. Yeah. And that makes sense. I appreciate you talking about that. Oh my God! Uh, that says a lot. And um, so, uh, so from that point on, what, uh, what, 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 what did you start doing? I uh, started thinking that it's unfair that um, ah. certain uh, guys will not get any uh, love and affection from girls. Life isn't fair. Okay, life is not fair, dude. Okay, this guy is the, supre the supreme fucking cuck, dude. That's what he is, man. He needs to understand that, bro. This is why the word incel is so heavily associated with entitlement. If you're a normal human being, you might feel lonely when you're not getting love and affection, but not enraged. If you think you are entitled to love and affection, when you yep. don't get it, anger and resentment will likely arise. Entitlement is the most, uh, uh, it's the most fucking... It's so cringe. It's the worst emotion. Like, I deserve this. I deserve that. Like, why don't... You know, uh, dude, you see it on Twitch all the time, dude, of these fucking uh, entitled Andy's talking about, like, I deserve an audience. I deserve this many viewers. I just, it's like... The, and it's like... And you see it across everything. And the sense of entitlement, it's just like... How, what do you... Uh, how, how do you fix that? And how do people become so entitled? Do their parents just say they deserve everything and then they just stop believing it? Like, how do you, how do you get like that? How do you, no one deserves anything. No one deserves anything. So everything's fucking just random. And like, like it's, it's just this whole, this whole fucking thing where you think you deserve something. Like, no, dude. <laughs> no one deserves anything. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely not random. I I don't understand. So that that is some scary shit. So wait, if you have an autist kid, you need to make sure if you if you've got a, a kid with Asperger's or autism, you need to really make sure they don't become entitled. Because if that happens, then they're gonna go down this fucking this this fucking hole. Okay. And, and what, what, like, what 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 do you mean by certain guys, such as me, that are uh, that are very uh, nice? Anyway, Wait. to love and affect when you're not getting love and affection but not enraged if you think you are entitled to love and affection when you don't get it anger and resentment will it's, likely it's arise. gonna be the literal okay. textbook and, nice guy what, 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 what do you mean by certain guys such as me that are uh, that are very uh, nice and uh, act gentlemanly right, right, right. are there other guys did you find other guys uh, are in the same there are, I know of several other guys over the internet who uh, feel the same way, but I know they are, I would consider them uh, too cowardly to uh, act on their anger. Oh my god, dude. Oh man, it must feel so bad to be a woman when this is the guys like this that exist. That must suck. Dude, imagine being a woman when guys like this exist. Like you say no to some dude, right? And he's actually a mega incel, and he fucking murders you. And and and, 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 like, and it's not like like you know, like I it must that shit is fucking so fucked. That is so like I must be so hard being a chick. Oh, 
Okay, and so on the internet, what, where, 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 what are you talking about in terms of? I'm gonna say 4chan. Uh, specifically, uh, certain boards on uh, 4chan. Oh, okay, 4chan. I'm familiar with 4chan. Right, so 4chan is a website, oh, no. and within 4chan there are these messaging boards. Yes. And they're individual boards specific to like-minded people. Yes. So uh, when did you first start going back. on the 4chan? Since uh, 2014. Oh, okay. All right. And how did you learn about 4chan? Uh, I was informed about it uh, by a friend at college. Oh, okay, all right. And did, was he on it as well? Or? Yes. Okay, what's his name? I don't wish to okay. answer. Okay, I understand. What's the general... Uh, 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 the still talking. He got debated, dude. He got debated. Message boards. Well, on a B, the, uh, or random, the general topic is random. It's literally any random uh, um, topic mm -hmm. on R9K What's B? it's they uh, call us uh, space robots okay uh, what the fuck is B does anyone know what B is B is a random B is cringe uh, do you, I've never been on full chat chat uh, honestly I don't want to get like radicalized as like some sort of fucking crazy incel dude murderer guy I don't know. I always see all this, uh, like, yeah, I, I don't want to, like, 4chan to break. I feel like 4chan can break you. I've seen so many, like, so much weird fucking shit comes out of 4chan. Like, so much, uh, like, you know, that it's like, I, I feel like it's better off just, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to go there. Because what happens if I get fucking turned into some 4chan Andy? You know? I'd rather not expose myself to that stimulus. So what, what does B mean? So B is just... What is that? Did you? What, why are you guys saying B low W? R nine K isn't R nine K a way of a? Isn't that just like some anti robot? We have R nine K mode in chat. Fuck. Flash fit. General random board. Uh. uh the topic is usually uh frustrations at an inability to lose one's virginity, specifically for young males. Okay. Uh, poll, which is politically incorrect, mm -hmm. is the general topic is basically political discussions with an alt right bias. Political discussions with an alt right, so you're uh, you're, you're ultra conservative, or you're yes. the, oh, like right. the, you know in the American you're just giga racist, basically, yeah. Uh, a definition would be you'd be an ultra Republican. Do you like? Yes. Okay, so oh, no. what would your <clears throat> what would your political views be in the alt right? Uh, uh, message board. The I actually don't racist. have any uh, political views. I only uh, uh, the only reason I have talked with them was just because I enjoyed their uh, style of uh, conversation. Okay. And what was the style what, of conversation? Being racist. Uh, it was very uh, blunt and honest. So when what would it be? What would it typically focus <laughs> around, or what would the what would the, tip, the typical conversations the fuck? contain? <laughs> Uh, red pill truths about uh, why uh, <laughs> women uh, choose to uh, date uh, obnoxious men. Date oh my god! Date the chance He knows! Then how? Why? I don't understand. If he could be aware of why this is the case, then how come he's angry? Like, I don't understand. If he understands the chads, he's lazy. Like, I don't, I don't understand. If you understand the chads, you can just become a chad. I mean, I don't think it's possible it's going to become a chad. Or you can, you know, bypass the chads by going for chicks like, that aren't Stacy's. It's retarded, Quinn. I mean, really, chads are born. Uh, what the fuck, dude? It's yeah. The chads of this world. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the Stacy's going for the chads. Exactly. The he Stacey's knows. The, yeah, the you know the the, the dizzy knows. dumb girls dating the the goofy you know jocks. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So you call them Stacy's and chads. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard that term before. I I've done a little bit of um, uh, reading and I know a little bit about um, involuntary uh, celibacy. Ce ce celibacy, right? So being celibate, involuntarily yes. celibate. What does that mean? That means, an, celibacy means uh, uh, someone who never perform, has a sexual intercourse. No, 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 but if you understand, uh, well, I understand, if you understand the chads and you understand the stasis, and then you understand this, the female equivalent to what he is, right, then he can find them. I don't understand, how do you not know? 
There's like not everyone is a Stacy. Not every woman is a Stacy. He wants the Stacy. Why does he want a Stacy? Oh, does he think he deserves the Stacys? Wait. Wait, he thinks he deserves the Stacys because he's fucking delusional and thinks he's the ultimate, what did he call himself? The Supreme Gentleman. Oh, so he thinks he should have a harem of women because he's fucking mental. Oh, it actually kind of makes sense. So the, so he's not self-aware. He's deluded. Yeah, he's fucking del Okay, so then... Because I, I don't understand how you can know so much about this and then not... So he just needs to be... He needs to go, you know, to get grounded. I mean, but, you know, it's too late now. He needs to go to fucking jail for the rest of his life. Um, He's so nice here to shoot people because they didn't deserve his niceness. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, how could the Supreme Gentleman become a, uh, you know, a murderer and go around killing women? Um, yeah, he's, like, so nice that he actually just murdered people. What is this? What are you looking at right now? Uh, 4chan. Anon visits New Zealand. Fly o okay, fly over New Zealand. Okay, okay. fly over uh, to New Zealand. Pilot successfully lands the plane, uh, and the New Zealanders... Uh, Pilot successfully lands the plane, and the New Zealanders on boards uh, spontaneously break out into a haka. Have to wait for some uh, Māori elder to bless the luggage cart before they can start unloading the plane. Get the passport control that's staffed by a white guy with a face tattoo. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. No, he won't be white. He'll be, he'll be half moldy, half white, you dumb bitch. Does Haka before st stamping his passport? Oh, that's a fucking lie, bro. That's a fucking lie, bro. He's just making shit up, dude. After waiting in life what feels like hours, I get to the front where I'm called a white devil and told to respect the culture of his people. Okay, this is just complete lies. Complete. Like, sometimes I do do a Haka, though. Well, they have a porphity. Like, you'll be getting off the uh, airplane. Uh, like, if if there's, like, a, you know, a, mo like a big family, moldy people there, they'll have, like, a porphity, like, as they come off. Like, it's, it's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. Uh, finally collect my bag and leave the airport, uh, though not for enduring three more hackers along the way. That's a lie. Get in the cab and have to wait for the moldy blessing uh, before we can start driving. Okay, that's a lie. Doesn't ask where I want to go and just starts driving towards the Lord of the Rings Museum. Try to protest, but he says that I have to go or I'll offend his moldy ancestors. Moldy people don't even care about fucking Lord of the Rings, bro. He's as white as me. Whatever. I ask him to turn the radio. It's the hacker. What? Dude, fuck off. What even is this trash, dude? What even is this trash? <laughs> Real and true. Real. Fuck off. You've already saw one guy. You've already saw one guy with a face tattoo and he got scared and he had to go on to 4chan and write some fucking fake story, dude. Because he's such a little bitch. Right. Uh, involuntary celibacy means this wasn't your choice. You I see. essentially are, uh, have been thrown into true forced loneliness and you're unable to lose your virginity. Right. This is especially uh, uh. painful for uh, young males. Oh my god, this suffering. When did you first get Like, really? You're so, it's so painful you have to go out and murder people because you couldn't fucking have sex, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Uh, what even is that? Do you know how many people are like 20 something year old virgins and they're just totally normal dudes and then they just g fucking get a girlfriend and they have sex? It's not like, it's that, you sit there and obsess over it. Being like, I deserve all the women. I deserve all the Stacys. Uh, I'm the supreme gentleman. I'm going to kill you now because you're not fucking having sex with me. You mentioned this and I forgot. When did you first go on to 4chan? Ugh. 2014. 2014. Specifically when in 2014? May 23, uh, 2014. Uh, how were you able to remember that? You think? Because I remember that was a uh, very significant day. Okay. What, what day was What was that? Uh, that was when uh, Elliot Roger uh, decided to essentially uh, commit an uprising, a beta uprising, if you will, right. against the uh, Chads and the Stacys. That's the guy. That's the guy who went and shot all the woman, right? At like a, at like a, what are those like little fucking, what are they? Like, those 
girl houses. Uh, what do they call them? In, 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 in NA, they have these weird house things where, like, there's a bunch of girls there. Uh, yeah, you just went in Charlotte. OG oh. sororities. Yeah, we don't have those here in New Zealand. We don't. Fuck we. Yeah. Oh my god. So he was already valid before he went to 4chan. Uh, so, okay, so he was already delusional before he went to 4chan. And then he saw that, and then it was like an advert to go there. Because he's like, oh, dude, the, his, this guy was on 4chan and he killed a bunch of women. Oh, I need to go there. So he was already, this guy's already mental. Okay, okay, and that was in the United States? Yes. So explain to me this movement, what's this movement about? It's basically, it's basically a movement of angry uh, incels such as myself who are unable to get laid, therefore we want to overthrow the uh, chads, mm -hmm. which would uh, force the Stacys to be forced to uh, reproduce with the incels. Right, right, okay, and when you say incels... What the fuck is that? bro what the fuck is this oh my god so involuntary uh, celeb celibate celibate so that's just a, a, sh a short for form for 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 fellas who can't uh, lead can't can't have sex <laughs> okay. if and the chad and the incels had a war the incels would get fucking annihilated they would get fucking destroyed like, holy shit, what even is this? Uh, the car's laughing, he has, he's serious, dude. This guy's serious, he fucking murdered nine people. This guy murdered nine people. This guy's, this isn't some meme, dude. Like, this guy believed this shit, and he's like, talking about the beta uprising against the Chad, so the state, sounds like some lore of some fucking anime, dude. The beta uprising. We're gonna overthrow the church, and then the Stacys will be forced to reproduce with us. And there's like, and that somehow there's tentacles involved. And, uh, what happened in the uh, Elliot Rogers uh, 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 uprising? Oh what no, he's, he gonna, he's gonna worship him. I know he. Uh, oh no. Used a uh, gun, as well as a, a vehicle to um, convert the life status of certain individuals to uh, death status. Right. What the um, fuck is wrong with this guy? To, uh, carry the message that um, incels uh, can't be. Wait, what? Update the. Wait, he used a gun as well as a vehicle to convert the, the life status of a certain. To a death status. Dude, I want to convert this guy's fucking life status to a death status. Holy shit. Who the fuck says that? Updates the life status to death status. <laughs> it's like a Facebook update. What, what the fuck? Right. Um, o only to uh, carry the message that um, incels uh, can't be oppressed. Right. Dude, do you realize this is going to make women dislike you type of people? Like, they're like oh, this guy's kind of creepy. He could be an incel. It's going to make them dislike you more, right? You understand this is going to make them dislike you more. It's like, literally, dude, you want to get laid, bro, incel? Literally just get a job, bro. And go to the gym. And you will find a woman. If you have a job and you and you go to the gym, you like like seriously. I I really don't go and shoot fucking sororities up or like just drive people over in your fucking car. Go go get a job and go to the gym. Oh my god, it's that easy, dude. I mean, it is though. It is. With online dating nowadays, dude, bro. If you have a job and you're like not fat. How can you literally not get a girlfriend? Like seriously. Like that you want you're just a basic functional member of society. Like I mean that's all it is. Fat lot like that. That's yeah. And you don't even need to get not fat, right? But like I mean it. It. it, it that. That's it. Oh fuck! Like uh, it, this is just, it's the opposite movement. This just makes them hate you more. That makes them hate. I don't understand how this. How they don't realize that. Right. So it was a, uh, it was an act of rebellion. Yes. And it was, um, and uh, and um, out of frustration and anger. You could call it an incel rebellion. Incel rebellion, exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what did you discuss with these guys? We discussed our uh, frustrations at um, society and being unable to get laid, and we were plotting a certain. Uh, 
timed strikes mm -hmm. on society in order to um, confuse and uh, shake the foundations just to put all the uh, normies in a uh, state holy of panic. Shit, yeah, it would be holy uh, shit, bro. The normies into a state of panic. Oh my god. It's like Twitch. It's like you could be, it used to be funny as fuck, right? And you would think this guy was memeing, except he just killed nine people. Like, this seems like a Twitch chatter, like a fucking, like this, this, this guy seems like some, like, ran out of Twitch chatter guy, except he's actually a fucking murderer, so it's like, it's like he's not even memeing, bro. Normie means uh, normal people, that would be anyone who is uh, considered to be uh, normal by uh, the unfair standards of society. But not the Chads or Stacys. Chads, is Chads and Stacys are actually above normies, or at least they think they're above normies. Of course, normies. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So is it fair to say you've got Chads and Stacys they think up they're here, above normies down here? Because he's at the top. And then you've got celebs who believe that they are being Incels. oppressed. Incels. Incels, sorry. Yes. Incels who believe that they're being Supreme gentlemen. Re re uh, uh, suppressed or repressed. Yes. And, and so as a result, even the playing field. Yes. The, you know, they... they uh, they convert the Stacys and Chads from living to dead, and, and to so make that we come out on us to, on top. Updating the yeah, life status. Than, so is there? Are, 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 so the the targets. Who are the targets for the this uprising? Be all of the uh, alpha males. All the alpha males. So the Chads. Yes. So that's those are the people. Uh, how do you understand? If you kill an, an alpha male, then another alpha male is instantly replaces them, and you kill that guy, and another one replaces them, and you kill that guy, and another one replaces them. And then you kill enough alpha males, which is impossible because incels couldn't do that. But uh, and all that happens is society no longer functions because they're the sh they're the guys who are getting shit done. They're the leaders. They're the fucking CEOs. They're the people who are like out there doing shit, bro. They're the they're the guys who are like out there fucking being sigma and shit, bro. You know, getting shit done. How does he not like? It's impossible. You kill one gorilla who's the current alpha male, and another gorilla will just take its place. You, that, that, that you want to kill? Yes. Okay, all right. And who else? Any uh, uh, any of the Stacys who uh, do not wish to uh, give their love and affection to the insect. <laughs> so they, they, you, they're a target as well? Yes. To be killed? Yes. Okay, and what about the normies? What? Uh, yeah, nor normies. Yes, we, uh, do, we, do, we don't necessarily wish to uh, kill the normies, but we do wish to... <laughs> you're, you're safe, Jet. You're safe. <laughs> to uh, subjugate them. Uh, in order Wait, what? Did they want to subjugate the normies? The intel want to subjugate the. Why are they the ruling presence? Why do the incels deserve to subjugate the normies? This makes no sense. How do they think they're more important than the Stacys, the Chads, or the normies? Or to make them understand that the um, that our type is uh, the more superior one. Right, oh right. my so God. Mean if you're so superior, then why don't you go have sex with some chicks? Oh, wait. Nobody wants to, you fucking incel. Meaning uh, either imprison them or put them in a lower position in society. Okay. So that Holy they shit. acknowledge um, the incels or the uh, Pepe the Frog types as the more superior ones. <laughs> okay, so you're, these, uh, you're I'm, I'm not familiar what with. What the fuck? Chat, please don't go out and murder people. You guys are Pepe the Frog types. Oh my god. I, I didn't know that you guys use that either Pepe the Frog or fucking meme of absolute psychos. Uh, but we, uh, he's, he's, um, he's a mascot on 4chan. We, uh, he's a mascot? Yes. Oh, mascot what a clown. On yes. And he's I, was, I was using a metaphor. Oh, okay. What okay. a clown. Yeah, so, uh, he's actually uh, worshipped uh, quite frequently. Oh, okay. Oh okay. my Who god. Don't, would the, I bet you the 4chan guys fucking think this guy's a clown. I mean, even the 4chan incels think this guy's a complete clown. Like, he's probably like a clown within the incel community, right? Like, conversation with first. Let me ask you that. Elliot. Elliot. So how did you learn of Elliot? Oh, my God. Because on, um, on the, we uh, private messaged each other on uh, Reddit yep. after I saw uh, one of uh, his posts. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Uh, we just uh, talked about each other and got to know each other, and we found each other very interesting. We both had the same uh, frustrations at society, right. despite being uh, separated by distance uh, so far apart. Right, right, right. Did you ever visit him? Uh, no, but I wish I could have. Yeah, yeah. Did he ever come up and visit you? 
No, but I wish he did. Yeah. When specifically oh did you my first God. contact or have co contact with Elliot? January of 2014. 2014. And uh, when did you stop having contact, communication with him? Uh, as soon as he was deceased. Okay. So uh, his act, I, I know, took place in 2014, but what, I was. Wasn't his life status updated to death status? aware of the exact day. What day was it? May 23, uh, 2014. May 23rd. Yeah, you said that. Uh, so when did you last speak to him? May uh, 20. May 20th. And so what did he tell you? He told me that uh, he has to go. He must. He is on a very important mission mm -hmm. and uh, he might not make it back alive. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Mm -hmm. so Wait, did did, didn't that guy shoot himself? I think he did, right? Didn't he shoot himself after shooting all the women? Fucking clown. Ugh. I uh, kind of had an idea in my head of what he was uh, planning, but I didn't want to uh, think it was true at the time. So I said, so I replied and said, uh, I wish you uh, good luck with that. Right okay. Oh my God. And so you last speak to him you on March 20th. You to go shoot people. May 20th. May 20th. I'm sorry, May 20th, 2014. Yes. He commits his... his his acts on the 23rd of May. Yes. And uh, when did you learn that uh, what he had done? I saw it on the news later that night. Later on the, on the 23rd. Yes. Okay. And what did you think? Uh, I thought that I uh, came to the understanding that this is the mission that he had to uh, carry out. Okay. All right. They didn't and check his well. DMs. I felt kind of uh, proud of him for uh, oh. his uh, acts of bravery. Okay. Oh. Uh, Bravery, that's the most beta fucking cuck pussy shit you could ever do. He went in with a fucking weapon and shot a bunch of defenseless unarmed women and then killed himself. That is the most beta pussy shit possible. I can't even think of anything more fucking beta cuck pussy. Like, it's like, bravery? That is literally the opposite of bravery. What, like, how delusional and fucking mental do you have to be to say something like that? And what about uh, how you started to, to, uh, to change your thinking? What was, was, any of the, was, was, that, was any of that going on? I was starting to feel uh, radicalized at that time. You were, okay. And when you say radicalized, what do you mean by that? Meaning, I felt it was time to take action and not just sit on the sidelines uh. and to just uh, fester in my own sadness. Right on. Okay. So, dude, it's next? just having sex, bro. Like you're 25 and haven't had sex. That's like not even bad. Like maybe if you're like 40 or something. But I mean, dog, you could have just got a fucking hooker at that point. Like you know, like you're 25, bro. Like, what are you, he's, he's, it's, it's like he's, it's like he's sitting there, he's getting tortured every day, and he's like suffering some awful hardship. 25 and I'm in six, that's totally fucking not even that bad. And I, I mean, what's, what's the normal age? What's the average age? What is the average age? Like, having sex is like so, like, it's not 18. Fuck off, it's not 18, bro. Average age of losing, okay, I beat people lie, so you can't even get good statistics. Uh, age of age living with Jenny, let's go New Zealand. Let's look this up. Uh, average age. Uh, average age of sexual intercourse is 17.6, really? Oh, okay, world, let's go world. Uh, the average age of America, 16.9? Dude, what the fuck? What about happening in the back of the day? India, 22.9. Singapore, 22.8. China, 22.1. Look, are all these guys suffering? There are all these people in India who had not a virgin until they're 22.9. Are they fucking suffering, bro? All these guys in China at 22.1 suffering? Like, what, what, like, what? Like, 25 is not even like. I don't even understand why the fuck you'd be considering murdering anyone or doing any uprising. Like, cause, oh, I'm 25 and I'm a fucking. Like, what? They have massive mental issues. It's it's actually so fucking pathetic. That's about good.
India, I mean India, the, India and India, they, they have like yeah, the like, it's either twenty five or like fucking fourteen, right? Okay. Next, as part of this 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 growing right. radicalization. We just go back so we can get this guy. Okay. So what takes place next? As part of this 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 growing radicalization. To be honest, uh. The planning didn't occur until about jail, a month bro. ago. Most of it yep. was actually just... Yo, guess what, dude? You're gonna get to lose your virginity, dude. Your fucking anal virginity after you become some guy's fucking bitch, dude. Some alpha male fucks your ass, pussy. Fuck you. Thinking. Okay. And daydreaming. Okay, all right. So, the thinking and daydreaming. When did that start? Yeah, in prison. That started about a month after the rebellion in uh, May of 2014. Okay, so... So, I mean, so, so in June... I started uh, thinking about this stuff. And then that continued right up till about a month ago? Yes, which is when I uh, booked uh, the uh, van with the rider okay. in order to uh, use as a tool for rebellion. Okay, all right. So t t t take me through that process. What was going through your mind and how was, you know, what were you thinking when you were doing all of this? What was going on? I was thinking that it was a time that I uh, stood up to the Chads and Stacys. Okay. And then, and then, so what happened? So this, tell me what takes place. So I uh, book the van. Yeah. And then I just simply wait until uh, today. Yeah. And then I go rent the van, and then I uh, drive it, take it downtown to Toronto. Okay. And I just start using it as a weapon. Okay. All right. And and so when you say that, what, what do you mean by that? Meaning I it the vehicle collided with uh, several pedestrians, some of who are no longer alive as a result. Right, right, okay. Can I ask why were you looking specifically for uh, a truck? Because it would be uh, large enough to uh, inflict uh, severe damage. Okay, that makes sense. Ugh. And in this thinking, what were you thinking specifically? About how... Uh, how the foundations of the world would be shaken by this event. Okay. This guy, this guy actually is. This guy is straight up handicapped, right? This guy, this guy is not even. This isn't even. This is even just Asperger's. This guy's just straight up handicapped, right? Like he's. He, I think I actually didn't. I I thought he was just baiting him because he was mega, mega Asperger's. But he's Asperger's and he's got some fucking like brain defect as well. Like there's some sort of like brain development that has not happened. And. uh... When you that's say what, that, so the, you... the, the, the so the incels like are on 4chan are like actual two like, like literal two heads, right? They're like literal fucking two heads. By the foundations of this world, meaning that I I I, I was fairly confident that others would be inspired to uh, repeat the same actions as me, in basically just to uh, overthrow society. Okay. Mental. Oh, you just now, what are you job, thinking? Bro. While you're in the van, uh, I'm thinking that this is it. This is the day of retribution. Okay. Ah. Uh, and uh, anything else in your mind? So cringe. Just that. That's it's, that's, that's it's, the only it's thing. He's the that's embodiment my mind. of cringe. Just burning in my mind. Burning in your mind. Yeah. He's the embodiment I'm of cringe. That, uh, this is it. I see all these people. It's uh, time to uh, go for it. Time to go for it. And what do you do? I. Uh, floor the pedal, yep. I speed the van towards them, and I uh, allow the van to uh, collide with them. Okay. And then what happens? Uh, some people get knocked out of the way, some people roll o over the top of the van. Okay. And then what, what happens? I uh, continue doing that until... Um, I, in fact, actually, to be honest, the only reason I stopped my attack was because someone's drink got splashed on my uh, windshield, and I was worried that I would uh, crash the van anyway, so I decided, okay, now I, I wanted to do more, but I've kind of been foiled by a lack of visibility. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? What, what, are you fucking kidding me, bro? What about the blood and shit on his fucking windshield? Wait, windshield, wait, he, a guy's drink got splashed. He lost to a drink, he stopped mur like, a mass murder spree because someone spilled drink. He didn't want to crash.
Matt just said you're a psychopath. He is. Like he, like he cares. He does not care about anyone else's life. He's out there like fucking just mass murdering people. And then, but he's like, oh shit, I don't want to crash and lose. How can you not extend that to other people? How can you not realize? Wait, these are other people too that I'm running over. Like if he can, if he prioritizes himself that much, how can he not be like, oh, those are other people like me? Well, he's gonna be pissed. Oh my god. The only reason I stopped is because I got to drink on my windshield. I'm so glad this guy's a complete clown, fucking idiot, moron, beta cuck, and he's, like, exposing himself here, so, like, there's no chance of him actually not getting convicted, because he's, like, he's such a fucking idiot. So then that's when I uh, pulled, I turned right, and I pulled, and I saw the cops approaching, so I decided to pull over and get out of my van. Okay. His analytical and strategic preparation oh for the God. attack and the attentive precautions he took for each step shows an individual with a visibly corrupt yet undeniably balanced mind. He is not insane, and what the detective has got him to divulge in the last hour of this interrogation will prove that in a court of law. I see a patrol car pull over and I hear the cop screaming at me to get out, so I get out and I uh, point my wallet at the cop in it with the intent for it to be confused with the gun so that I could be fatally shot. Okay. And was that... What a fucking clown, dude. You're in Canada, mate. You're not in America, you fucking clown. Fuck are you like, pulling your what? They're gonna think he's fucking... Re I mean, he is retarded, right? Like, they got, like... You know, in NA, you fucking clown. Something you were thinking about? Yes. I know, what I mean, I, I, what I'm saying even, is... Even before had I uh, pre-mediated... So, wait, why, why, why do you keep saying... Why, why the fuck did he stop running people over then? If he's like 30... Wait, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, so he didn't want to crash his car? Wait, why didn't he want to crash the car? I don't understand. So wait, he wanted to kill himself at the end, but then... It was a good van. He just didn't want to damage the van. He's like, oh shit, I don't want to, like... I've rented this out. I can't damage it, bro. Like, oh, I'm fucking. I've I haven't. I've got, got low visibility here. Can't turn on the window wipers. Uh, oh my god. As an attempted uh, suicide by cop. You wanted to. You wanted to be killed by the police. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, Suicidal tendencies are by no means enough to prove insanity on their own, but they can be used to argue detachment from oneself. If a defense team can prove that the defendant's self-interest uh, were of no concern to himself, they can also lessen the perception of wickedness with relation to the lack of concern that he had for others. The detective will now attempt to garner information that the suspect, in reality, did not intend to die that day. Can I ask why you decided to, to, to equip yourself with a wallet and not something else? It's a fake uh, gun. I was worried. I was thinking about purchasing a toy gun, right. but I was kind of paranoid that some, for whatever reason, the Rydal rental company would ask to see my pockets or any bag if I chose to bring that. So I decided to go as stealthy as possible so no one suspects anything. Okay. Well, the prosecution clown. during his trial will most likely argue Holy that he could have picked shit. up the van first and then retrieved a toy gun afterwards. Nevertheless, you get out of the, the van, the officer, or his board, or, sorry, uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong, because I want to make sure I get this right. You get out of the van because the officer orders you out? Yes. Okay. He was ordered out of the van at gunpoint. Had he hit the gas at that moment, he would have most likely been shot, and the prosecution can argue that he was in fear of that happening, which is why he complied with the orders. Uh, and you want to uh, you want to die by, uh, by, by suicide by police, uh, so you point your wallet at him? Yes. Okay, and, and uh, do you say anything to the officer? Uh, I actually told him that I had a gun in my pocket, which okay. was untrue. Right. Uh, then I had to, I, twice I stuck my left hand in my uh, pocket and attempted to do this just to uh, provoke a uh, reaction. Okay. Uh, uh, Clown, why don't just continue to try to run people over, bro? Like, what is he even on about? This is like some... Uh, f they would have been, been just been like, what is this fucking moron clown doing? Uh, uh, what is he do like, what is he doing? That, uh, he, unfortunately, he didn't react. Right. So then I ended up being ordered to the ground. So I knew at that point, he's not going to shoot me. So uh, I've lost. So I, just, so I had no choice but to just get on the ground. Okay, so just walk me through this, this step by step because I'm, I'm a little confused. So you, you get out of the van, 
sir, you, you, you turn right, you can't see, you hear the police, you know they're coming, you see the police officer approach, you stop your vehicle, uh, you realize this is the, the end, he orders you out, you get out of the, the van. Yes. Now, your, planning, your plan was to die by suicide by cop, so you said you reached into your pocket twice. Well, actually, well, originally, I, I, the entire time I had, I was holding my wallet with my right hand, but then when I saw that that wasn't working, I reached into my pocket with my left hand and quickly pulled it out and formed my hand into the shape of a gun like this. Okay. Um, with the hope that he would panic and shoot me. That, of course, didn't happen. This entire incident was captured on video. These were the two motions that the suspect alleged were for Jesus. the purpose of provoking a lethal response. They seem convincing, yet notice where the cop was looking and where his gun was pointed at that moment. Eyes looking to the right, away from the suspect, and weapon pointed towards the ground. The assailant most likely knew he wasn't going to be shot. The police officer was on his own and was incredibly brave to initially confront the suspect without backup. Yet at this moment, he's assessed the threat and recognized there is no need to use deadly force. He Jesus. wouldn't have taken his eyes off the attacker for even one second otherwise. This is further established by the fact that he takes his time to turn off the siren to try and de-escalate the situation. Move away, woman! What are you doing? The police officer holsters his pistol and takes out his baton to avoid the use of unnecessary lethal force. As soon as he takes his advancing first step, the assailant immediately gives up. Look at this fucking clown. Oh my god. The assailant who had just purposely inflicted an untold amount of pain and suffering on so many lives, surrendered at the very first sign that he himself was to encounter he's a any beta, sort of physical is the discomfort. Ultra beta and so, he's an ultra beta that the cut. officer wasn't going to shoot you, what did you do at that point? I realized I had no choice but to get on the ground because I was probably going to be uh, tackled anyways or tased, and if I'm if I'm going to live, I'd rather not encounter a physically painful experience, so I decided I have no what choice but to defeat at that point. What about all the people you fucking maimed but didn't kill, bro? You updated their status to, like, severely injured, bro. What is he, like, I don't even understand how this logic... How this works. Carefully take out your weapon, holding the butt with two fingers only. Slowly place it on the floor and take three steps back. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Wait, so is this, so, so now, now the, the thing is he's such a psycho that, right? Like this person, he's like, no, I'm not dead. Maybe I could, I, I'm thinking about it now. Cause like, mm, maybe he's killed himself now, but that'd be positive. He'd, he'd killed himself now, right? Cause then this guy wouldn't exist anymore. Um, but now what if, now that he survived and he's like, oh, I'm alive now. I'm going to get out of jail. I'm going to convince them that I'm fine. And then I'm going to go out and basically fucking run more people over with a van. Right? Like, what? Like I'm going to go run more people over with a van. Because I feel like that's what would happen. Right? Like, isn't that exactly what he would do? Like, based in this current mindset, that's exactly what he would do. He, like, oh, my God. He's never getting out. Hopefully, he never gets out. Point. Right, okay. And so when you say admit defeat, what did you do? I uh, got on the ground. Okay. That's quite an experience. That is quite a... Uh, not the usual everyday experience. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, fuck him up a bit, dude. Did I miss anything? Can you call him a clown beta? I believe that's everything. Can you call him a clown beta now? 
Can you like, come thank on? Thank you for talking to me. I really do. I really do. I really appreciate that. You've given me some insight. And, uh, I appreciate it too. Um, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Okay. Alec Manassian's trial date is set for February oh 3rd, God. 2020. Oh my God. Don't tell me he's free or some shit. Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's fucking feeling good. Like, don't, don't tell me he's like. Like, t please tell me that cunt's like completely fucking. Oh God. Oh, I because that last one of the woman, I and she was actually she's out now. The killer. I am the supreme gentleman. The killer virgin. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck is this? I don't know if I want to watch this shit, dude. <laughs> 